Hey everybody, I have a tutorial for you guys. This is my first tutorial. I have gotten so many requests. I think that and a makeup collection is my most requested videos. And I do want to film a makeup collection. I just want to get everything like all ready and organized for you guys first. Um, so I thought I'd give you a tutorial. I do want to get another camera though because I still don't think this is the best. Um, just because I can't see if I'm in frame or anything. So <laughs> tell me if you like it. I'll make more. If not, I'll stop. Um, I did forget a few steps. Um, my lips, I am wearing my Sore Lip Liner from MAC and then my YSL Rouge Pure Couture in number 9. I wish I could remember the name of this, but that's the only thing that sucks about YSL is they don't write the name on the package. And then I also use, just to set my makeup, the MAC Fix Plus. Fix Plus. And this is just a little travel size you can get for like $10 at any MAC Pro store. And I think even some of the counters are actually carrying them now. So if you are really wanting to see this look, just stay tuned. Thanks. So I'm just going to take Wedge and just to find the crease a little bit. And just windshield wiper motions, just blend it out. I, sorry, I'm sorry if there's a lot of noise in the background. The boys are cleaning downstairs while I'm getting ready. So then I'm just going to take my Sonia Kashuk eyeshadow brush into my Naked Lunge and just apply it to my tear duct and about the a third of the lid. So once we have the Naked Lunge all over both lids, I'm just going to take my favorite Sigma brush, which is the E45, and Satin Taupe, and I'm going to take this into the outer corner and into the crease. And so you just want to use wind, windshield wiper motions. And then how I do this corner, I just take it down here and just follow the line of the brush naturally down and then just up into the crease. And then you can just build the color as you want it. Um, like I said, I like it a little more smoky and dramatic, so I'm gonna build it up just a little bit. And then just drag it all the way into the crease. All the way in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I want to darken up the outer corner just a little bit. So I'm going to go back and forth between my handwritten and mystery with my MAC, or actually, no, this is another Sigma pencil brush E30. And like I said, I'm just going to go back and forth. And I would say mystery is a little bit cooler than handwritten, um, but I like to mix them. And I'm just going to go in the outer B. I'm looking back and forth between my vanity mirror here and then my little makeup mirror. So that's why I keep looking all over the place. A C to just kind of, so there's no harsh lines, but it still darkens it up. I'm going to add a little bit more mystery. So now I'm just going to take my smolder pencil, it's almost done, and I'm just going to line the tops of my lashes. Or I'm just going to take my MAC 266 brush and just set my eyeliner with this MAC Black Tide. And it does have a little shimmer to it, but they're really, you can't see too much. I just like it because it evens out the harsh line that the pencil liner sometimes gives. It just fades it out. And it also sets the liner so it's not transferring to the top of my lid. 
because sometimes obviously when you open your eye like liquid liner um, will get up here like in your crease and stuff and this will just set the like I said the pencil liner which it is pretty creamy It just smokes it out a little bit. So off camera, I did my mascara and eyeliner. I just used the smolder on my waterline. For mascara, I used Stila Forever Your Curl Curl Memory Mascara and the Urban Decay Super Curl Curling Mascara. I got both of these with a bunch of other mascaras in that Love Love Your Lashes kit from Sephora for Christmas. I think that's what it was called. It came with a bunch of them. And I really, really like these two. I really wanted to try the Urban Decay because I saw an article or somewhere where this is like Rachel Zoe's favorite mascara and I really, really like it. And then the brush of the Stila mascara is so tiny. It gets every single lash. I love it. It's really, really nice. So I always use two mascaras. I'm, I'm not sure if everybody does. I think most girls do, but... I don't know. So we're just going to contour the face a little bit. I'm just going to go in with my MAC Blunt and kind of just define my cheekbones and then under my neck. And then the temples and down the nose just a tiny little bit. And then I'm just going to blend with whatever I have left on the brush. And then I'm going to take my Christian Dior bronzer and um, the contour brush I used was the MAC 134 and I'm just going to use this Sonia Kashuk powder brush for my Urban Decay bronzer or Urban Decay Christian Dior bronzer. And I always bring my bronzer down on my neck a little bit. So for blush, I'm going to be using my MAC Ambering Rose, and I'm using my MAC 168 brush, and applying this just to the apples of my cheeks, and then going backwards. I hope I'm in frame. And then with, with whatever is left over, I go over my temples. And just anywhere you would normally blush if you were like flush or, you know, if you were really hot, you would get red here, down your nose a little bit, in your chin. But you don't want to add a ton of blush there, so just a little bit of color. And then with my Tokidoki blush brush, I'm going to go with my um, Stereo Rose from MAC. I love obviously pretty much all MAC products, this one, with my Stereo Rose and just a little bit on my cheeks. Just one swipe, because you don't want to be a glitter ball. And that's pretty much it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll get close. And I'm sorry, like I said, I, this is not the best camera to film tutorials on. I would really like to get like a nice video camera. So if you guys have any suggestions, I'm really on a budget because I don't want to be spending a lot of money um, because I have other stuff that I need to spend money on right now, especially with my wedding coming up. So, but if you guys have any suggestions on like nice video cameras, um, definitely leave that in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I don't know if I get a good enough feedback. I'll try to film more for you guys. Thanks.